Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can lower the volume of your headset or headphones and I'm not just going to tell you to lower it in the bottom right corner because that's pointless and you've probably already tried it. In fact, it's not pointless, it does work, but you've probably already got it down to one. If the problem's like mine, I had to have mine on one and like any music player or video player, that volume turned right down for it to be bearable. And if you accidentally turned it up, you'd get a nasty surprise, and that's not what you really want. So there's going to be two ways that should fix it. The first is unlikely, but I'm going to go through it anyway, and the second is guaranteed if you follow the steps that I'll show you. So the first thing you want to do is you want to right-click the sounds, or go to the sounds page by right-clicking the speaker at the bottom and bring up the sounds page. Now you'll be greeted by this page. You want to go to playback and just check that you have got your speaker or your headset as the default device. Disable any others. There might be something causing it, but this is unlikely. Now click on right click on your headset and go to the properties bar which is at the bottom in bold. This is unlikely, but we might as well just check through it. If you see the things like loudness and some things on that bar, for example, make sure they're all turned down as long as they're not microphone ones because that will affect your microphone, not your speakers. Like loudness, if you've got that checked, obviously uncheck that. You can have a play around with some of these, see if this fixes it, but like I said, it's unlikely that it will have any difference because normally if you've made a change on here, you'll know that that's affected it. But if you see on this screen on the enhancement, something like virtual surround, you might not think that increases the loudness, but it can do. So make sure you've got that unchecked, or check a few. Might That might actually make a difference. Room correction, for example, I'm not sure. But any setting, just mess around and see if that does any difference. But now on to the actual solution. Okay, so you want to go to the website that's in the description you can see the link up there if you want to manually type it in and you want to click that download button there it's important you click that one because sometimes adverts will pop up with green download buttons that will try and confuse you I've got ad blocker on for this video so that won't affect me now you'll have to wait three seconds before it starts but it should start automatically and I'm sure you can click the direct link anyway if it doesn't once it has downloaded you want to click open and then it will bring up the uh, next page. Now it is an unknown publisher but you don't have to worry as long as you've got the correct download then you should be fine. Yeah unknown publisher but like I said if you've got the correct file it should be fine. And it will bring up the setup wizard. You want to click next and then I agree. You'll have probably used this before I'm guessing and now you want to make sure you know where it's saving to. This is important because you're going to have to find this location later. So make sure you put it in a nice easy location like the, prog the program files. And then click next. Now you just want to click install and if you want to check the shortcuts box you can but I don't really advise it because you don't really need it. You only need to use it once. So click install and then it shouldn't take too long and then it will bring up the next screen which is relatively important because you'll see in a minute why so you want to make sure you've got the your actual speakers checked it's self explanatory but it's something you can easily miss so just click the one that you want to change uh, for me it's the Corsair gaming headset which is what I had the problem with now you want to click, click close although it may be something different because I've already got it installed I don't know it should it probably is just close but if it's not just click next or something like that now you should have this screen in front of you and it basically tells you whether you want to reboot now or manually reboot later I always prefer to manually reboot later because then I can close every anything down that I've got open so make sure if you've got a program open then don't click reboot now or save it first so you should have restarted your computer by now if you haven't you can do that now once you have come to the folder that you saved it in for me it was a local disk program files then equalizer APO that's the program once you're inside its folders you should see this screen and you want to go to the config file which is at the top and then into the config text document 
So all you have to do in this text document is delete the entire contents of it. There should be a lot more writing in it than what there is on my screen. And you want to replace it with what I've got in it now. You can change the minus 30 to whatever suits your headset best. That's obviously the amount of decibels you're reducing the sound by. And then just hit save. You can update it and change it however often you want. That's all there is to it. I hope you found this video helpful. Put any questions you've got in the comments. And remember to leave a like if this helped you out so others can find the video. Thanks for watching.